Hey guys, so let's talk about we're gonna call, we're gonna talk about the rules or the values that you have. You see, part of my book is called uh, uh, one of the components of my book, which is the building of an economy, your economy. One of the components is your values and principles, which I call your rules. And those rules really come from past experience. The rules come from experiences. Pain or pleasure is really what motivates us. And most of these rules, if you will, that we live by come from our childhood. When we were kids, we learn a lot from experience and a lot of our experiences as a children have a huge, huge impact on our lives. For an example, if your parents told you to be afraid of strangers, then you're always afraid of strangers. If your parents tell you to be afraid of spiders, then you're probably afraid of spiders or heights or whatever. Or another example would be, you know, if your parents told you family above all else, no matter what, you know, they, they could do whatever they want, but they're your family, so your blood is thicker than anything else, right? Then you believe that. It, you know, there's so many beliefs I can expose here, but let's, let's talk about the rules here that we live by and how important, how important it is. I'm going to walk this way because you're cutting grass. How important it is to understand which ones are good and which ones are, are bad. Which ones serve you and which ones keep you as a servant, right? There's two different ways to live, servant or serve. And, you know, when I think about the servant, that means you're somewhat of a slave to somebody. You're always at their beck and call. And some of the rules that we have in life really make us a servant. And they don't allow us to be who we want to be. And I think a lot of our success or failure in life comes from these rules. And I want you to, to think about the person that you really truly want to become. Because this is important for, 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 for reference here, right? So many people tell me they want to be super wealthy. They want to be rich. And, and you know, that's a good goal to have, by the way. Being rich, gosh, that is a great goal. I'll tell you, many people would argue that money isn't everything, and I'm not here to tell you it is. But I'll tell you, it's up there with oxygen. You need it to live. We live in a world that exchanges money for things. So, somebody tells me they want to be real, real rich. I would return the, the, uh, the, the statement back by asking a question. And the statement, the question would be, well, what do you have to do to get real rich? And then somebody would say, for an example, well, if I hit the lottery. <laughs> okay. So you're saying that you'd bet, you'd gamble your way to riches. Hmm. Let's do the math. <laughs> math by the numbers. How many people can actually win the lottery in their lifetime? How many people do? You know, how many, one in, how many millions of people will win the lottery? It's the number one question you should ask. But even if that doesn't matter, is it really possible to win the lottery? I mean, can you predict that? No. Well, a rule of life for me is that I have to be able to see something happening. Not, not literally through some sort of vision. I've, I've got to be able to articulate it. I've got to be able to draw it out. i got to be able to say, hey, this can happen. And the lottery, come on, man. That's not going to happen. So let, let's take that out of the equation. But if somebody says, well, I just want to be a big real estate developer. And I want to own a lot of apartments. Okay. How do you expect to get the money to put the money up to get the apartments? Well, I don't know. <laughs> then I'd say, okay, so let, let's talk about some rules that could help you here. Do you believe that you could come up with a million dollars in the next however long it want, you want to take to get wealthy? Well, I don't know, they would say. So, okay. Well, how much money do you make a year? How much are you putting in your savings? How many, how many years would that take you to save a million dollars? And for most people, to be quite honest with you, probably couldn't even do it in their whole lifetime. So the person who says they want to be rich doesn't fully understand. <laughs> I don't know where the heck I am, where there's all these airports and things going on, but doesn't really understand that there's some rules here that we need to discern, to, to, to break down. You see, they've, they've got some rules that are some beliefs that are just wrong. Winning the lottery, owning real estate. 
these aren't bad concepts, but here's the problem. There's no real plan to get either one. And what I want to challenge you to think about is who do you want to become and how do you get there is very, very important. It's, it's so much more important than what it is that you get. It's so much more important in the real estate. It's more so if you want to be rich, how do rich people live? See, rich people in the beginning, maybe save a lot of money. So what's your rule on saving money? Okay, that's a rule, right? Let's, let's talk another way, right? Rich, riches typically mean that you had to work super hard, right? And everybody, by the way, thinks they work super hard until they meet somebody who works super hard, until they meet them, right? I think parents, for an example, parents, I think you work really hard, but the result is hopefully well-raised children. Parents who work hard but don't have good children, well, you probably are not working on the right things. So let, let, let's get back to that rule though. So what do you have to do? You gotta come up with a plan, guys. In my book, I, I, I script out how do you start that plan. Where do you start? Because you gotta start with the end in mind. You get a plan backwards. You gotta define who you wanna be. Then you gotta define a plan, rules, values, principles to get you there. This is a very hard thing for most people to do because quite honestly, many people have never been tasked with this. Nobody's put it in their face and said, hey, let's write this out. I actually have a framework for that. And so I ent I want you to get this real quick and then I'm done, okay? Here's, here's what I want you to get. You aren't going to magically be rich, fit, have a great family. You're not gonna magically have <laughs> left people with such a great feeling in their hearts that when you're gone, they remember you for generation to generation. None of that is gonna happen for you by accident. It's all through intention. It's all through your decisions. It's all through what you create. And if you and I don't start thinking about this early and we start thinking about it later in life, what happens is, what happens is life passes us by and it becomes a very hard challenge it it, it it literally is like walking up a hill and the older we get the farther along in life we get the steeper the hill so let's let's not get to the steep point let's start when the road's kind of flat let's start building it guys so i hope you get my book building your own economy but more importantly i hope that i can inspire you to create some rules some beliefs some core values that would really inspire you and generations to come to be successful in whatever it is that you wish to achieve. Thanks guys.